molds. What do you do with those? Hi, this is Mark from Taranto Hala. In this short episode, I would like to show you how I prepare the molds from my tarantulas for display and why it is useful to pick them up sometimes. So let's get to the video. The idea for this video came when I saw a nearly freshly molded Brachypel Mahamori. The mold was still intact, so I took the opportunity for two reasons. To show you how I mount molds that are in a good condition and to find out if the tarantula is a male or a female. Try to grab the mold as neatly as possible without damaging it. I also took the roach out, since the tarantula won't be interested and could theoretically be a harm for the spider. With brachypelmas it is always a bit troublesome to see when the spider will molt. They grow very slow. But the genus has one big size jump, around 6 mold or so. But before that the growth is small. Since the mold was still flexible, I could easily position it how I wanted. To mount it for drying, I used a piece of styrofoam with some sewing pins. Try at the first stage to lock the mold in place between the legs and maybe between the fangs. Then position the legs and pedipalps, keeping a nice symmetry. You can always reposition them, so no stress and work carefully. I tried to cross the pins right behind the ankle of the foot of the tarantula. It still needed some water to unfold the abdomen, but that is a minor issue. You can make an older mold flexible by using a plastic box with lid and adding a damp paper towel inside. Put the mold inside, give it a spritz of water, close the lid and let the water make that mold flexible again. I opened the abdomen with two entomological forceps to have a clearer view on the inside. Looks like I have a sub-adult male here. And the female is already waiting in an terrarium. Awesome. I also put some paper towel on the opened abdomen to prevent it from folding during the drying. Then, of course, leave the mold to dry. I decided to display the mold of this beautiful tarantula in a frame with a glass front to prevent dust from getting inside and to prevent potential damages. After all, they are fragile. I added a black background and attached the spider with some thick super glue to the background. You don't need much, since the mold is very light. I think the result is quite satisfying, with and even without frame. So as you can see, it is not so difficult to prepare a tarantula mold for display. I even saw, I even tried one time to display all the molds of one tarantula from sling to adult. Sometimes they get damaged, but maybe one day. I will manage to make that. If you like what you saw, consider subscribing, ring the bell, leave a comment what you like, what you want to see in future videos, and as always, thank you for watching. Taranto Hala out.